Hello everyone, I'm Leona Poon from Hong Kong, trustee of ISWOG. Guess who I have with me today? I have the pleasure to ask Professor Nicolaides a few questions about his latest research. So Professor Nicolaides, thank you for joining my chat room today. Leona, thank you very much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to see you. In relation to the World Preeclampsia Day, what do you consider to be the major development in the field of preeclampsia research? We have had extensive research for decades, and yet if we want to focus on two important developments uh, that have happened in the last two years, one is you have uh, our research, your research, on first trimester screening for preeclampsia together with the use of uh, low-dose aspirin to prevent the vast majority of cases of preterm preeclampsia. That is one area, and what we are waiting for to happen now is widespread uh, clinical implementation. And the second is the work of the group from Berlin, Verlochen, on the fleet to PRGF ratio in defining the subsequent management for the next one, two, three weeks in women that present with some of the signs and or symptoms of preeclampsia. Um, my next question to you will be, can you tell us a bit more about your latest research on preeclampsia? We have been looking at uh, the ophthalmic artery and we have been carrying out extensive uh, studies on maternal cardiovascular uh, function. Of course, this area of maternal cardiovascular function has been something that we have been involved with for more than 10 years. In some respects, in many respects, your research on the mean arterial pressure is a reflection of that interest in maternal cardiovascular uh, function. But Mika Metas with Cadiz de Paco more than nearly 15 years ago now had carried out extensive studies uh, using echo of the maternal cardiac function. We found interesting associations. Um, we have revisited the story again. Again, there are interesting associations in women that develop preeclampsia, but when we correct for maternal characteristics, maternal factors, unfortunately, none of the parameters had any useful additional uh, value in the prediction of preeclampsia. The ophthalmic artery work that you have been engaged in recently is part of this maternal cardiovascular assessment. And there, we did find interesting additive value from the assessment of the ophthalmic artery. But when you look at it, what happens is that in women that develop preeclampsia, the second systolic uh, wave uh, in proportion to the first is increased. Well, the second systolic wave is a reflection not of the cerebral circulation, but actually of peripheral vascular resistance. So it all boils back to, again, the value of the mean arterial pressure. Thank you so much for your time today. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Keep well. Thank you.